thank you, Professor Bapat, for that uh, wonderful introduction. Let me begin my speech. As usual, you all are aware, the Janani Janma Bhumisha Swarga Dapi Gariyasi. I, behalf of our founder, most revered Dr. Vishwanath Karad, sir, all the trustees of the institution, staff, students, our vice chancellor. Let me welcome the chief guest of today's program, Honorable Shri Venkaya Naidu Sahab, the man who fostered this idea of MIT School of Government, along with Shri T.N. Seshanji and Advani ji and many other important people from our own state, Shri Prithviraj Chavan ji, Sushil Kumar Shinde ji, lot of people supported this idea, my dear friends, and uh, uh, I'm really happy and uh, emotional also. Once again, you heard my speech uh, in NLC just now, the Rashtri Vidayak Sammelan. 19 years of, 18 years of journey, we are entering into 19 year. And this very important historic convention, which was envisaged long back, but I think that for every idea, the time has to come. And the last year, in the month of June, under the banner of MIT School of Government and Bharati Chhatra Sansad, we hosted, organized this very historic convention in the city of Mumbai. I have, I must express my gratitude, little praise by Mr. Bapat, Professor Bapat, about little my efforts, but I must make a mention that Sumitra Mahajanji is not here. The Meera Kumarji, Shivraj Patilji and Manohar Joshiji, the four former speaker, my dear students, who are the patrons for this very idea of National Legislative Conference, they all supported this very cause uh, and created the environment across party line in the country. So I must pay my respect and gratitude for all the four patrons. I also wish to express my gratitude for all the Vidhan Sabha speakers in our country. Today in particular, we have Uttar Pradesh Honorable Speaker Sri Shatish Mahana Sahab, who is himself very qualified, competent, professional, and a, a very, I must say, professional politician, very modern politician. I welcome you, sir, for your this support and overall development of NLC. I also wish to welcome Shri Horati Sahab, who is the chairman of Karnataka Legislative Assembly, another senior most, the council chairman and the senior leader so many times. He was a minister and MLA in his lifetime started his journey from ABVP and from the student movement. I have been to his house. Thank you, Horati Sahab, coming all the way and, you know, observing this very important Indian Students Parliament. We have Honorable Speaker of Karnataka Assembly, Shri Khadir Ji. Khadir Ji, aapka bhi main yahan se man se swagat abhinandan karta hoon. First time you are decorating this position, but when I saw you in the assembly, your maturity and the inclusiveness and the way of conduct is something which really motivates me and all of us as a country. Thank you, Shri Khadir Sahab. His father was also into politics. I request all of you to Google the background of these people, to come to this stretcher and the level at which they are today. There is a lot of efforts they have taken. We have Honorable Speaker, the former Speaker Girish Gautam Sahab is also sitting here on the dais, the Madhya Pradesh Assembly former Speaker. And uh, I'm very happy that like a, like a very senior person, he, when the first meeting, second meeting we conducted in city of Mumbai, he was there to, you know, boost up the morale of me, my team. Thank you, Gautam Sahab, for your participation as well. My dear students, just for next five minutes, I'm not, my speech is going to be seven to 10 minutes. You all know that you all have taken quite efforts. The Bharati Chhatra Sansad is a platform, lost 12 editions and before that through MIT School of Government. We have been championing this communication to come across the country that, let us join the politics. The educated people must come in public life. Qualified, competent people must come in public life. We want aware citizens, we want educated citizens, we want a very ideal voter for our country. How do we strengthen our democracy, my dear friends? Unless and until we, as academic institutions, we give this very fundamental thought that educated youth must come in public life and keeping that spirit this very journey last 18 years, 
all the politicians are corrupt, political parties are corrupt. Generally, this notion we keep hearing on the TV channels and the news media everywhere. But I must tell you in front of the most respected Sri Venkaya Naidu ji, about whom I have a great respect, we all have a respect for his journey, that how and where we have come so far, 75 years of independence, great, our journey is great. But still, somewhere I think we need to create a solid environment in our country. What is the solution? How do we find a solution? Do we want to get ruled by good people or bad people? I mean to say our legislators, I must welcome, there are over 100 legislators sitting here in this audience. I don't know, everybody's somewhere, there was a separate block created, but I welcome all of you, my dear friends, that you, some of you participated in Mumbai also. So it is my duty to welcome all the respected honorable MLAs, of, MLAs and MLCs of our country. Thank you so much for uh, supporting this idea and, and this very message here at the backdrop, my dear. It is a very clear message. Bharat ke ucha shikshit vidayak. So message is we identified, we have created different categories so far. The doctors, engineers as MLAs, singers, in different, some 50 different categories we have developed and we wish to involve them, our school of law students, school of economic students, they all are working together for research and various other areas. But I am trying to promote through this Bharati Chhatra Sansa that our, all the MLAs in the country should develop such platforms, the youth parliaments. I am very happy that four years before the government of India also, the youth ministry started the youth parliament, a similar platform. We have little role in that also and and many other such students and the youth in different parts of the country, they have started the National Youth Parliament, Youth Parliament, Students Parliament. And this is basically the initiation from this very institution, MIT World Peace University, my dear friends. And uh, I requested Honorable Birla Ji ka bhi mein yaha pe aaj smaran karna chahta hoon ki Honorable Speaker of our Lok Sabha, that all our member of parliaments, our country has over 3.5 crore students taking education after 12th. We have so many colleges, so many schools, the biggest education system in the world, but not fully, I meant to say, the merit and so many other challenges are there, but we are evolving, my dear friends. So who will change this? Along with your professional polymer, petroleum, mechanical, civil, computer, any such degree program, you are having the liberal art, fine art, design, my feeling, my dear friends, that we have to have a social belongingness. That is the message of our beloved founder, Rivier Dr. Vishwanath Karad, who created the world's biggest dome. Ultimately, the ideal democracy or any such order in the society, we are talking about the world peace. It's a very large and the big mission, what he has taken in his hand. And the world peace dome, the, the biggest dome of the world, he has established in Rajbagh here in the city of Pune, which is a world wonder, which is a spiritually oriented scientific laboratory unification of science and spirituality alone, how it can bring peace to the mankind. That is a message he's trying to give. But here, my dear friends, we have to go step by step. So fundamentally, we as aware citizen and the strengthening of the democracy. So all the time, whenever people come to me, Venkaya Naidu Sahib, what is the problem? First the problem we have to identify and what is the solution? So keeping that spirit, I requested all the speakers that every Vidhan Sabha should have one such leadership school, what we have at MIT School of Government here. A similar model, last almost 18 years now, there are six people have become MLAs, all the respected MLAs, I must tell you, through the School of Government. People laughed on me in the year 2005, that how can there be a school which can educate the youngsters to get into public life. Aisa rajniti mein padai leke koi aisa rajniti mein thodi aata hai. लेकिन मेरी बिनती है सभी लोगों से तमिलनाडु से भी बहुत सारे एमएलए आए बाकी भी राज्यों से सभी एमएलए आए हैं आप आपके सभी विधानसभाओं में इस तरीके का लीडरशिप स्कूल खोला जा सकता है आप आपके खुद के कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी में आपके जन्मदिन के ऊपर हो या और भी कोई अच्छा दिन आप जो आपको लगे एक यूथ पार्लियामेंट का कांसेप्ट सो वी हैव डेवलप्ड सम सिस्टम हियर व्हिच थ्रू व्हिच वी कैन सपोर्ट एंड गाइड दैट हाउ दिस यूथ पार्लियामेंट द सिमिलर फैशन इट कैन बी ऑर्गेनाइज्ड एंड इमेजिन इफ वी सेंसिटाइज this demographic dividend, the youth of our country, I think definitely we will propel the growth of our nation much, much faster, my dear friends. And 
and then this particular national legislators conference also it gives a lot of hope my dear friends how it evolved i all the time last 6 months i am saying it is not just a blessing on me what little praise was by professor bapat but i think it is a blessing on our country that tamil nadu and gujarat and maharashtra and all the mlas working together beyond political party lines on the issues of national security and there is some common minimum program and and can they come together and i remember shri venkaiah naidu saab said rahul it is very challenging task we have 100 political parties we have 100 languages in our country it is very very i need to speak to my colleagues and that time he was a vice president of our country and further i had a chat with many other political leaders of other political parties also and they said ki rahul this is a important idea i myself was also little concerned that how and what way people will support and i went to across the country some 22 chief minister 22 opposition leaders in different parts with the blessing of our founder i could visit everywhere and i said to everybody i am not affiliated to any political party my dear friends i am educationist and i have been working with the school of government the first school of the country to develop the future politicians and some of them they were aware some of them they were not aware and that's how we could win their confidence and so many some 17 or 1800 mlas participated for the first time in city of mumbai so i have a great hope so i request venkaiah naidu saab and all the people in the authority here particularly the speakers of various assembly that can we have from zilla parishad to our municipalities and all such important government institutions we should have the leadership schools not just in vidhan sabha we have so many municipalities we need in our country my dear students you all should be aware there are 30 lakhs elected representatives i don't know whether you have you are aware but you can see there are over 30 lakhs elected representatives from panchayat level to the lok sabha so there are enormous opportunities and in the recent days last 10 years i see most qualified competent people serving somewhere in united states and some other developing countries they are going back to their villages and want to contest the election for sarpanches they want to think about the social transformation upliftment of the people like in the swadesh movie shahrukh khan goes to village and he want to do something as an engineer in a similar manner yesterday when i was having a talk with satish mahana ji he said rahul politics is in every aspect and it is true you know this is a institution but where we have our own employees and they are you know the teachers they are educating you my dear students but imagine the city imagine the whole state 12 crore 13 crore people of maharashtra and the 140 crore machinery 140 crore people of the whole country how the governance happen everywhere every third the collector office or from grassroots to upper level if we see everywhere there is a role of politics and we are talking about transformation of politics the good politics we want to we want most active people committed honest people to come in public life and 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 if we really want to do this my dear friends first of all we ourselves have to say ki rajniti achhi cheez hai rajniti buri nahi hai rajniti mein kuch log bure ho sakte hain lekin sabhi log bure hai ye manna galat hai ye baat hum sabke zehen mein hona chahiye hum satire dekhte hain political kafi sare movies mein bhi dekhte hain ki there is a so much of criticism on public life aur humne ek pratima banayi hai some of the people when i come sometime in the attire of kurta and pajama here at the institution लोग बोलते हैं ये ये कपड़े आप पहन के ये सर ये रिस्पेक्टफुल नहीं लगता है मुझे बड़ा बुरा लगता है कि कुर्ता और पायजमा जो हमारा बहुत सारे नेता लोग यहाँ पे पहने तो मुझे बुरा लगता है कि इस कपड़े में क्या मतलब ये कपड़ा तो हमारा भारत का मूल कपड़ा है बहुत सारे लोग यहाँ वेष्टि भी पहन के आए हैं तो हमें इस तरीके से सोचने की बात है मेरे दोस्तों और ये सब बदलने के लिए भारतीय छात्र संसद और एम स्कूल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट का रोल एक बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है मैं राजनीति के आध्यात्मिकरण के बारे में भी बहुत दिनों से बात कर रहा हूं कि राजनीति का आध्यात्मिकरण हाउ डू वी रियली गोखले साहब ने महात्मा गांधी जी के गुरु उन्होंने बोला था स्पिरिचुअलाइजेशन ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स हमें राजनीति को नीति को बदलना है तो आध्यात्म की बात जो विज्ञान और आध्यात्म की भी जैसे बात होती है वैसे आध्यात्म और पॉलिटिक्स की भी बात होनी चाहिए और उसी तरीके से मैं कल मैं गिरीश गौतम साहब को भी मेरी इवनिंग में बात हो रही थी मैं बोला सर हमारा जैसा उम्र बढ़ता है तो मैं हमेशा ये कोशिश करता हूं कि मेरी मन की पवित्रता हम थोड़ा मैच्योर होते हैं समाज के धक्के खाते हैं तो हम वी बिकम लिटिल रूथलेस हाउ डू वी रियली कीप आवर सेंसिटिविटी अलाइव एंड इट इज वेरी वेरी चैलेंजिंग व्हेन यू गो टू द टॉलेस्ट पोजीशंस आई थिंक इट इज इट इज रियली क्रूशियल दैट पीपल रियली वेन दे डेकोरेट सच पोजिशन दे हैव द अथॉरिटी दे हैव द पावर टू चेंज द सोसाइटी टू ट्रांसफॉर्म द सोसाइटी 
they should have a very right mind. And from where the right mind will come? So for that, spiritualization of politics is the most fundamental thing. How do we really think? Can be there some syllabus from the Vidhan Sabhas, all the respected Vidhan Sabha speakers, Satish Mahana Sahib, Khadir Ji. Rajniti ka adhya, how do we really, can we have some syllabus in the Vidhan Sabha? Then NLC can play little role. You are a government, you are the authority, you have a power. And we as active citizen and the civil society, or bahut sare logo ne bola, civil society se aise awaz aage aane chahiye, aur is tarike ke bahut sare platform pure bharat mein banne chahiye. Aur ye public aur private ki taraf kai baar hota hai, ye private and sarkar. Sarkar ki ek matokurna bhumi ka hai. NGOs, they have their own important role in the society. लेकिन मैं समझता हूं कि सिविल सोसाइटी ने इसमें जब तक एक्टिव तरीके से हम पार्टिसिपेट नहीं करेंगे हमारा वोटर जब तक जगेगा नहीं वोटर जगाना है तो एजुकेशन सिस्टम को अच्छा बनाना पड़ेगा एजुकेशन सिस्टम अगर अच्छी बनानी है तो हम सब अर्बन सोसाइटी के जितने भी स्टूडेंट्स हैं हम आगे चल के आप सब प्रोफेशनल्स बनेंगे तो ये हम एग्रेरियन इकोनॉमी है ये भी हमें नहीं भूलना चाहिए बच्चों तो ऐसे बहुत सारे विषय मैं यहाँ पर टचअप ऑन कर रहा हूँ और मुझे मुझे प्रसन्नता है कि एक एजुकेशन सेंटर एक यूनिवर्सिटी से इस तरीके का विचार आगे आके देश के ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन में बहुत महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका भारतीय छात्र संसद आने वाले समय में इसमें रोल प्ले करेगा ये विश्वास आपके सामने यहाँ पे रखते हुए मेरे दो शब्द खत्म करता हूँ फिर से एक बार ऑनरेबल शिव वेंकैया नायडू साहब का स्वागत और सभी स्टूडेंट्स का शुभकामनाएँ आपके सबके भाषण सुनने के लिए हम बहुत क्यूरियस है बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू